everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Becky and today we have my January book haul now as you guys saw from the thumbnail um I have, a, I have a pretty good stack we have 16 books that we hold this month but I only bought like four or five of them myself a lot of them actually yeah, that's why um so we have 16 books but most of these i got from gift cards from book boxes or they were sent um by publishers or one of them in giveaways so i didn't buy that many books this month which is pretty good because i'm on a low buy for the year but um we still have a pretty healthy stack so let's just get right into it um the first two books are books i was sent for review um and some of these books i have already read already so if i already have a review up for them those will be linked down below or um the video will be up in the i cards which i don't know what side they're gonna be on and they will be talked about more in my wrap up so stay tuned for those if the wrap up is already up that'll be linked up in the cards if not check down below I'll come back and link you down here but um the first book is Cauldron's Bubble by Amber Elby and this is a book I was sent by Amber for review and this is a fantasy book that takes uh, classic Shakespearean characters and kind of introduces a new twist to them so in this book we follow Alda who lives in Michigan and um has some interesting encounters with magic and ends up traveling to different worlds where different fun things happen there's also another character in here but i'm not going to get too much into that character story so we have that this is a really interesting story again more about this one in my wrap up but cauldron's bubble really interesting if you like um more whimsical type books and also if you like the shakespearean characters in a reinterpretation with them and um this one came out at the end of 2017 and it's currently free on kindle unlimited if you are interested and i will have all the links for that down below the next book is when i was sent by penguin random house so thank you so so much penguin for sending me this book i am so excited and it is genesis by brandon reichs this is the sequel to nemesis and this book does not come out until march 2018 um, I was like I said was sent this one uh, for review and I am so excited to pick it up Nemesis ended on such an interesting note and I cannot wait to see how Genesis continues the story if you are not familiar with this series at all Nemesis follows um, a world that's kind of in a sci-fi nearing the end of the world and um, our main character also while all of this is going on Every couple years on her birthday, someone kills her, but she comes back to life and she's trying to figure out why. And Nemesis is kind of her piecing everything together and having kind of everything play into effect. And Genesis is the continuation of the story. I can't say too much about what this one is without ruining Nemesis for you guys. Super duper interesting story and I cannot wait to see how the story continues. Um, these next two books are two books I won in giveaways. Um, one was a Goodreads giveaway and one was just a giveaway on Twitter. So the first book um, I won was through a Goodreads giveaway and it is Winner Take All by Lori DeVore. This book came out the end of January but I got it at the I actually technically got this book in December I just forgot to include it in December strap up so whoopsie daisies. Um, and this book follows Nell and Jackson who are two students competing to be uh, the top student and the book so really focuses on um, competition and toxic love and a lot of things along that line. I had some thoughts about this book. I'll go into more in my wrap up but um, overall this is a book that if you are interested in dark contemporary books and more realistic contemporary books you might like this one. Um, I do have a blog post for this one coming out. If it is out by the time this video is up, I'll have a link down below if you guys want to know more of my thoughts on this one. It got some super mixed reviews on Goodreads, and it, I can see why, but it's one that um, if you're interested in the synopsis, I think you might like it. If you're unsure about the synopsis, I don't think that you're going to like it. Um, and if you're unsure overall, read a couple of spoiler free reviews to see if it's something that you might be interested in. The next book I got was a giveaway from the Bookish Brats. I will have their Twitter handle over here. And I am so excited. I saw Chelsea 
from Chelsea Dolling Reads rave about this book recently, so I'm so excited. And that is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This is a story about adoption, and it's a contemporary book. Uh, it's really all I know. Um, I hear it's a nice, um, powerful contemporary book, and that's really all I know but anyway I'm still super excited to check this one out I might be trying to read it in February for contemporary a -thon, um, or I'll be picking it up soon based off of when I have time but I am really excited me and why contemporary recently has been hit or miss so I'm hoping that this is another hit in that realm and the last book I have for this category is one I got from the uppercase box um, right around the holiday season, they had a form where you could fill out and potentially get a book off of your wish list. And um, it was just a little way that they could give back to everyone in the community. I don't know how many people signed up for this versus how many people actually got books, but I was lucky enough to get one of the ones. And from them, I got Sleeping Giants by Sullivan Nubel. I hope I said that last name correctly. I know virtually nothing about this book. I've heard some people talk about this one. Um, I know it's gorgeous, like, so pretty. Um, I know nothing about this book at all. I know it's short. I am currently waiting for the audiobook to come through on my library. It's on hold. And it's one that has piqued my interest a lot. I think it's a part of a trilogy, so I'm excited to check it out. But, um... Yeah, if you read this book and you liked it without giving anything away, let me know down below because I'm super curious. I heard some people talk about it, like, oh, like, videos from six months to a year ago, but I haven't really heard anyone talk about it since, so I don't know. The next two books are the same book, but they are the books I got in my Fairy Loot and Owl Crates. And if you want to see the full unboxing, I did a Battle of the Boxes for Fairy Loot and Owl Crate this month. That'll be linked up in the cards if you're interested. But the book that we got in um, both boxes was um, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. So this is what the cover looks like. This is an edition that we got in the Fairy Loot box, and this is what the UK edition looks like. Um, this cover is the same if you buy it in the States, except, um, there is no art on the front. Um, there is in the standard edition of the States, I went to Barnes & Noble and checked. And the Owl Cray edition had an exclusive cover, but underneath the dust jacket is the same. So this is what the gorgeous Owl Cray edition looked like. And as you can see, it is a very different edition than what the original edition looks like. And under the dust jacket has this really gorgeous foil art print on it. Absolutely stunning. I have already read this book. It's a lot of fun. If you like Faye, especially uh, Dark Faye, I think that you will really enjoy the story. This book follows a girl named Jude, who is a mortal ward of one of the soldiers that works in... Or that works for the royalty in the land of Fae, which is the land of the Fae, um, or land of fairy, the fairy, yeah. land of fairy, which is the world of the Fae, and it is on the edge of our mortal world, so it's kind of more of an urban fantasy book than a high fantasy story, but it follows Jude trying to fit in as she was brought there at a young age after the death of her parents and kind of shows her trying to fit into the world. There are a lot of dark characters. There's a lot of people that you don't really know um, who is good, who is bad, a lot of mixed motives in here. Story's a lot of fun. If you like, so if you like Faye stories, if you're not sick of Faye, and this is a story I think you're really going to enjoy. The next large stack of books are books that I technically bought myself, mostly with gift cards. The first three are technically Christian's books. Um, he had a Barnes and Noble gift card. He let me use some of the money on the Barnes and Noble gift card, but um, most of it he got for himself. I figure I would include these books in the haul in case you are interested. So the first book is the third book in the Cedric series. This is The Oracle by Valerie Willis. This is a more paranormal history-ish book, and that's really all I know about it. Uh, the first book is Cedric something. I have it somewhere. So the first book is Cedric the Demonic Knight, Christian's currently reading it, uh, and the second book is, and the second book is Romancia, Romancia, I don't know, Roman Santa, <laughs> Roman Santa, Romancia, I have no clue, um, Roman Santa, something like that, the, um, father of werewolves so these are the first two books we saw this when we were at BookCon last year and covers piqued our interest and the back of Cedric piqued our interest he's like a 
demon hunter, supernatural hunter thing. I don't know. It was enough that piqued our interest. The third book just came out in March, so Christian picked it up so that way he would have the full trilogy. And it's one I'll, e I'll eventually read, but um, we have him on standby. He's gonna let me know how the series is, and um, I might read it soon or not. If you have read the series, let me know what you think, and if you have not read the series, I'll have the good reads and everything linked down below if you want to learn more. The next two books are because, if you guys know what my current book collection looks like, you will know, um, one, I've never read a Sarah J Mass book before, and two, the only two Sarah J Mass books I own are Throne of Glass and Tower of Dawn. Throne of Glass I got from a book outlet haul, I think, and Tower of Dawn I won in a giveaway when the book was released. And so we figured if we're gonna have the, the first book and the last book of the current releases of the series, we should start building the actual series. I have um, Tower of Dawn, as you can see poking out right here, is a hardcover book. Throne of Glass is paperback, so we decided to get the rest of it in paperback. Um, because it's cheaper. So we got um, The Assassin's Blade and Crown of Midnight, both by Sarah J. Mass. Again, Christian has read Throne of Glass. I have not. Sometime in 2018, I will read a healthy chunk of Sarah J. Mass and see what I think about it. From what I know about the series, this one's good. Throne of Glass is good. This one's good. Air Fire Shaky kind of goes down here. Tower of Dawn is hit or miss depending on where you are in the fandom. That's all I know. Um, but we're excited. Um, I've seen a lot of debate about where to start if you read, um, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, or if you read Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, then Assassin's Blade, or if you don't read this after Air Fire. I've seen, basically everyone I ask gives me a different answer, so if you have a preference on when I should read this one, let me know down below. Um, the next two books are, I got because I actually got the third book in the series from NetGalley, without realizing it was the third book in a series. So I got the first two, so that way I can actually read this third book. Um, so the third book in the series is Banish, and this book is not coming out till I think March of this year, but I'll have the correct publication date on the screen. But um, the first book is Spelled, and the second book is Wanted, and these are um, all three by Betsy Shao. Shao, Shao? I hope I'm saying this correctly. I'm sorry, you guys know my second names. But this is a fairy tale, um, Wizard of Oz melding slash retelling, and I'm very interested. You guys know how much I love my retellings, and I I don't get sick of them. I keep looking for new ones, and this one really piqued my interest. I have a book from NetGalley, so um, figured I should finally check it out. The next book is a book that was not on my radar until about two to three weeks ago, but it just came out within the last week. And it sounds super fascinating, um, and that is Reign of the Falling by Sarah Glenn Marsh. This is a fantasy book all about death and necromancy and how people can control death, but now, like, this army of the dead is, like, fighting back. That's really all I know about it, and I don't know if I, like, misinterpreted something somewhere, but overall, it has really piqued my interest. I think the book itself is absolutely gorgeous. I love the soft pink with the skull, and I know Sarah was saying on Twitter that don't let the pink deceive you. This is a super dark story, and recently, I've read a lot of really dark stories. I've been kind of into it right now, so I'm excited. I'm really excited to read it. I have the audiobook on hold at my library, so basically as soon as that comes in, I'm gonna drop what I'm doing and pick it up. But yeah, so super excited to pick this one up. The next book I have is one of my most anticipated releases for this entire month and probably part of 2018 as a whole. Um, that anticipated release video will be going up soon. Um, it's filmed, I just need to edit it and get it up for you guys. But um, that is Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire. I love the Boy We're Children series. They were some of my favorites of 2017. My best and worst, by the way, will be going up soon as well if you guys still care. So um, again, filmed, just need to edit them. But super excited that the third one came out. I saw so much early buzz for this book. It was one that I was super anticipating. Cannot wait to get my hands on. I pre-ordered it. I got it in my hands and it's really good. I can't tell you what this book is about though because this is a direct sequel to Every Heart a Doorway. So if you have not read this, uh, that one yet, do not pick this one up. 
that being said if you did not like every heart of doorway because of the murder mystery aspect of it do consider picking this one up because this one focuses more on the mystical world and a couple of different characters so consider this one if that was the only reason you did not like every heart of doorway love these books some of my favorites all right the next book i got is one that i've already read but i want to a physical copy of it sorry about Alistair guys uh, and that is The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee you guys know I am obsessed with the first book The Thousand Four and I read that one and The Dazzling Heights both in December and I saw that this one was on sale on Amazon I had a gift card so it was a match made in heaven super duper excited to own both of these I will be getting another bookshelf soon and once I do then you guys will be getting the bookshelf tour I do not forget I just have lots of piles of books right now I figured I would do the bookshelf tour when there is less of this and more books on a bookshelf but I cannot wait to get another bookshelf so I can finally put these two together and the last book I got is to complete my Marissa Meyer collection and that is Renegades by Marissa Meyer I've heard so much hype about this one I've had the audiobook for a couple months now haven't listened to it yet but I want to get the physical one just in case this was a book that was better to follow along with than to um, just listen to but anyway I'm so excited um, I am now only one book away from having all the Marissa Meyer books so I'm still super excited this book sounds super good and I can't wait to pick it up so those were all the books I haul this is probably one of the bigger hauls I've had for a while and um, I'm just really happy. I liked books. You guys know how much I like books. And I actually did a good job of reading a healthy chunk of these books or have intentions to read them soon. But be sure to let me know down below what books you haul this month. And if you guys are interested in learning more about any of the books and I probably gave god awful synopses on them, Goodreads are always linked down below. And um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet hit subscribe, I have a lot of videos planned for um 2018 this many videos planned for february so you guys are getting some new content from me and more regular content from me so hit subscribe so that way you don't miss out and if you have not yet be sure to look all the way down the bottom of my description box all of my social medias are linked down there it's the best way to connect with me if you guys want to know more about both my personal life and my other reading adventures so yeah i think that's all i have for you guys today so have a fantastic have a fantastic day, everyone. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.